Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to explore an important diagnostic exam called the TILP test. If you've ever experienced symptoms like dizziness or fainting, this test could help identify the underlying cause. We'll discuss how the TILP test works, what to expect during the procedure, and what the results can reveal. So whether you're curious about the TILP test or you're scheduled to take it soon, stay tuned for all the details. The tilt test is a non-invasive exam that involves placing the patient on a special bed, tilted at an angle of 70 degrees, and monitoring their heart rate and blood pressure at different stages of the test. The goal of the exam is to reproduce the situation in which the patient experiences symptoms such as dizziness and fainting in order to evaluate the body's response. The exam is recommended for patients with recurrent fainting in the absence of structural heart disease, for patients who have had a single episode of syncope during high-risk activities, to differentiate syncope associated with tonic-clonic movements from epilepsy, to evaluate unexplained falls, and to evaluate patients with frequent syncope associated with psychiatric disorders. In order to perform the exam, the patient should come fasting for at least six hours and bring a spare set of clothes. It is also necessary for the patient to come accompanied, as the exam can cause discomfort and dizziness. During the exam, the patient will be in an inclined position for about 40 minutes. After standing for a prolonged period of time, the doctor may choose to use specific medications to make the heart beat faster, as if the patient were exercising. Throughout the exam, the doctor will ask if everything is okay and if the patient has experienced any dizziness, palpitations, or any other symptoms that they deem important. If the exam is normal, the patient will remain symptom-free throughout the procedure and leave for home in the same way, without feeling any discomfort. However, when the exam is abnormal, the patient may feel unwell, dizzy, nauseous, and may even faint. Therefore, it is important to fast to avoid the risk of aspiration in case of vomiting during the exam. Finally, it is important to emphasize that the TILT test is a safe and very important exam to identify the causes of dizziness and fainting in patients with a history of these symptoms. I hope it has been useful for you to understand what the TILT test is, what it is used for, and how it is performed. If you have symptoms such as recurrent dizziness or fainting, or if you engage in high-risk activities, it is important to seek medical advice and discuss the possibility of undergoing this exam. Share this video with your friends and family so that more people can understand about the tilt test and the importance of taking care of their health. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to do so to receive more important information about health and well-being. Thank you for watching.